Okay, let's go for today's experiment. It's gonna be reflection and refraction. Let's start with reflection. Uh, with reflection, we need a flat mirror, right? We have one right here. Let's place this flat mirror on this um, uh, line. That's the reference line. So also we need to mark the uh, normal. Remember, the normal is perpendicular to this surface. Let's take any points of reference. Let's find uh, 90 degrees, right? And uh, angle from this from this point, right? This is right here. Okay, it's gonna be the normal. Okay, uh, let's do it. So we have the normal right here. Does it look nice again? Now let's place the mirror right on this line. That was the reference, right? Perfect, like this. Okay, great. Now let's use a laser at right, an angle and let's try to hit the normal right the normal again is a projection right here as you can see um, <clears throat> this is the line that gives us that uh, is related to the normal okay let's adjust it so it's adjusted right here so that's the normal perfect now uh, <clears throat> let's trace the path of the laser where right, the laser goes in this path let's mark it on the piece of paper on that direction and also on the other side right perfect so we have now the incident rate and the incident rate and the reflector rate so okay now um we found these two point right that relates the incident rate and the reflector rate now let's trace these two rays right perfect like this this is the incident ray Imagine, okay, you see the ray, and this is gonna be the reflector ray. Perfect, the reflector ray is gonna be uh, in this direction. Okay, great. So we have incident, incident ray, and we have the reflected, reflected ray. Perfect, let's say in this direction and in this direction. Now let's look for the angle, right? Look for the angle, respect to the normal. This is for one ray, this is for the other ray, right? Imagine. Okay, let's use this theta, I mean, theta is symbol for angle in general, right? Theta incident and theta reflected. Now, for this law, for this reflection, let's look for the law of reflection, right? Law of reflection says that the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle okay let's prove it today so let's find the incident angle equals to something right and the reflected equals also to something they're supposed to be the same and right, now let's find the person error right um person error okay um person error equals to what equals to Theta incident minus theta reflected absolute value divided by theta incident right times a hundred percent. To find the angle, right? Let's use uh, the protractor. Hopefully, you have a protractor at home, right? Find the uh, the angle respect to the normal, right? For this one, right? And for the other one, you compare these two using right the um percent error right okay it's gonna be for reflection um now let me do it for refraction for refraction we need a piece of glass uh i found only this one or i found this one this thick right let's use the base for this glass right to simulate our uh slab of glass that we use in the lab right today since we have another equipment right well we can use this one as uh, a good helper Okay, now let's do the same thing, right? As before, but in this case, gonna be refraction. For refraction, we need to uh, find right the refracted, the refracted um, angles and the incident angle, right? The same thing as before. Imagine that this is the case. So we need to trace the path, the path of the laser. So the path. Well, the laser is be in this way, right? So this is the, the initial position, let's say. And now the point where it hits, 
the uh, glass, right? Which is about here. Okay, and also the point where it lifts, right? The glass on the other side, right? I'm looking for that point behind. Okay, the point's right here. Then also the other the point, right? A little bit ahead from the glass was gonna be right here, right? So we already locate all the points that we need for uh, refraction. Now let's um, remove the glass and connect all of these points, right? As you can see, we have the incident angle right in this direction. And now we have inside of the glass, right? In the uh, ray bends, right? And then it goes out right with the initial direction got it so this is what is happening inside of the glass let me remark it a little bit more for you okay this is the incident ray right for this interface now we have the refractor ray right inside of the glass and then for air outside of the glass right it's gonna be the refracted right ray perfect now let's look for the normal right at each point uh, we have the normal where we can use the protractor right to find the normal at this point at this point this is 90 degrees perfect and at this point in the other side right it's gonna be also 90 degrees right here okay Perfect, 90 degrees is coming. Let me be right here. Okay, now let's find the normal at that point. Okay, right here is gonna be the normal at this point. Perfect, and at this point is gonna be the normal too. Great. Got it? So we can remark it for the same thing as before. Right, so we have the normal right here. Okay, great. Perfect, and we have also the normal. Oh, it must be continuous to the other side, right? Because we need the refracted angle. Hopefully you, you, hopefully, you can see it, right? Very carefully. Okay, got it. So we have these two angles. Okay, now remember this is the incident ray right here. This is the refracted ray, right? So it's going to be incident, incident, let me go this way. Incident, right, ray. This is the refracted ray. Got it? The same thing as before, let's find the angle right here, right? Theta incident. And let's call this theta, right, uh, refracted. Okay, remember for this one, how to use the uh, Snell's law, right? Snell's law says, Snell's right law says that if we call this the initial refraction of air, actually for air it's about one, right? And uh, inside of the mirror we have this refraction, right? Of the same glass, inside of the glass, right? Um, from the theory, right? The initial refraction for glass is about one point five. Today, let's try to calculate this in the sort of fraction, right? Let's call this from um, the theory, from the, um, the true value, we also call it the true value, right? Um, okay, from the theory. Okay, now from the Snell's law, we have that the initial refraction in air times sine theta incident must be equal to the refraction of the glass, right? times sign of the refracted angle got it okay now um let's solve for the initial refraction for the glass according to the experiment right must be equals to in this refraction of air sine theta incident divided by by the sine theta r for this one of course we need what we need theta incident equals to something and uh, theta r equals to something, right? The angle. Well, you know, with that, with this data, we can plug it right here and find the answer. 
you can see it's very simple now let's go for the personnel right equals to um in the sort of fraction for glass from the theory minus in the fraction of glass from the experiment absolute value over right um in the fraction from the theory times a hundred percent of course you need to substitute the values right here right here right to give us the answer okay so please uh, let's do this at home hopefully you have at home right the ruler and you have a protractor right now use this these two pictures as a reference right to find the angle right the angle of incidence right from here to here the angle of refraction right from here to here and um, use that data that data right to plug it in this equation to find the answer refraction for for the glass and then find the personnel okay uh, so this is for today's experiment and hopefully you can do at home okay thank you